12 teams fighting for $2 million starts here at LA Live. The Season 2 World Championship kicks off with eight of those teams competing in two round-robin group stages. The top two teams from each group will move on to the quarterfinal round. Let's check out the action from Group A. The first match of the day featured Azubu Frost, the number one seed out of Korea, against Invictus Gaming, the second-ranked team from China. Right out of the gates, both teams displayed heavy aggression, and after picking up first blood, Invictus held the lead for most of the early game. Azubu Frost responded by stealing Baron at 23 minutes and used that momentum to push their way to the first win of the day. Up next for Invictus Gaming was fan favorite CLG Prime. Invictus came out strong, picking up first blood for the second game in a row, this time catching double lift out of position. Not wanting to go down 0-2 early in the group stage, Invictus steamrolled CLG to keep themselves in the hunt for a spot in the quarterfinals. Europe's SK Gaming was up next to take on Azubu Frost, but SK was no match for the champions from Korea. Azubu Frost completely outclassed SK, winning by 10 kills, nearly 20,000 gold, and didn't give up a tower the entire game. The win moved Azubu Frost to 2-0, making them a near shoe-in for the quarterfinals. Two teams that were struggling to make the next round, SK Gaming and CLG Prime, squared off, with each team looking for their first win of the day. CLG came out with a triple teleport split push strategy that they've become very well known for. It was a back and forth match that led to a photo finish where CLG Prime completely surprised SK Gaming. CLG tried to build off of that momentum and even secured first blood in their next game against Azubu Frost, but the Korean team showed why they were unbeaten on the day. They dominated CLG early and never let up. They would secure the victory and their place atop the Group A standings. SK went into the last game of Group A with their tournament lives on the line against Invictus. But it wasn't meant to be for SK as Invictus' hard initiate comp allowed them to tower dive over and over, eventually leading to a win and a berth into the quarterfinals. The first game in Group B was a matchup of Team Dignitas versus CLG EU, two teams who, surprisingly, have never faced each other at a live event. Dignitas came out with an old school roaming Terek strategy that allowed them to secure first blood. But despite the pressure from this strategy, CLG was just too good. They overwhelmed Dignitas to pick up the first win in Group B. The next game featured the Saigon Jokers, a surprise qualifier from Vietnam, facing off against Mac Noon's Najin Sword, the second seed from Korea. And Mac Noon was unstoppable. Well, almost. Najin Sword's next game would prove tougher as they went up against CLG Europe. It would also highlight Mac Noon versus Wicked, two of the best top laners in the game. Wicked got the upper hand early, resulting in an 0-2 start for Mac Noon. But it's hard to keep Mac Noon down, and that was clear after he teleported solo into four CLG members to secure an inhibitor. His play lifted Najin Sword to their second win in a row. Dignitas, looking for their first win of the group, ran into the aggressive Saigon Jokers. The Jokers made a plan to bully Skara, and they beat him into the ground. Dignitas was never able to respond, and the Saigon Jokers' Archie would finish them off with a Quadra kill. The win kept the Saigon Jokers' hopes alive, and unfortunately for Dignitas, it meant they were out of the tournament. Perhaps the most important game of CLG EU's career, they needed a win against the Saigon Jokers in order to secure their spot in the quarterfinals. The action in the top lane was intense. Led by Wicked, CLG EU put massive pressure on Saigon's QTV, and just when it looked like Saigon had an answer, Froggen was there to clean up. Froggen also manufactured an otherworldly farming performance on Karthus by killing 396 minions at the end of the 29 minute game. The Saigon Jokers put up a valiant effort, but their Cinderella story came to an end when CLG EU pushed their way to victory. CLG now joins Najin Sword as the second team advancing out of Group B. In the last game of the day, Dignitas was playing for pride trying to avoid an 0-3 finish. 
but the night belonged to Macnoon and Najin Sword, who denied Dignitas a group stage win. At the end of group play, quarterfinal matchups were drawn live on stage. From Group A, Invictus Gaming drew Moscow 5, while Azubu Frost picked Team Solomon. From Group B, CLG EU drew World Elite, and Najin Sword will face off against the Taipei Assassins. The quarterfinal action will be fierce as the world's top teams battle it out to see who will make it to the World Championship Final with a chance to play for $1 million.